Hello everyone, I'm here at the end of the special stage one uh, on a day one and I came here to find a steering dampener for Indra, the fellow rider. But unfortunately, uh, I had a quite an interesting experience today. I attended my first ever motorcycle crash. Um, yeah, uh, it was not pretty. Um, well, basically, I kind of went through the bend and I saw cars and they stopped me. And then I saw a gentleman uh, who was kind of, um, so he was supported by the tree. And then there was a woman uh, lying on the, on the ground and I couldn't see the bike. Um, so I went on and uh, I checked with the lady and started speaking in English to her and said like what's going on and all that and you know she had uh, fractured probably the collarbone and an arm she couldn't move with the arm she could move with everything else she was communicating a little scuffs and all that in the face some blood um, and then she she kind of desperately tried to convince me that she wants to sit uh, which I refused and I will get to that later uh, and then I moved to the gentleman and gentleman was like he was actually I was worried more about him than the lady because he was not speaking at all but he was communicative and he he didn't speak English they were actually Croatians um, older couple um, and then he had a lot of like blood here and there and he, he was exhausted clearly uh, I think the crash happened like two minutes ago and nothing um, it was really fresh, there was nobody, no ambulance, nothing. And uh, so he, he had a broken arm as well, his legs were um, moving, but he couldn't really move that much, so I just kept him at the tree and all that. Uh, and there were some other people, but they were kind of really not, they were just standing around, then doing anything much really. So then I went and I was trying to look for the bike, and. The GS1200 has been freaking flown off the road like five, like 50 meters into a ditch. Well, not a ditch, into the forest really. And it just plowed through everything. To be honest, I have no idea how they survived. So there was a fuel coming out of the bike. Uh, the bike, uh, it didn't seem that the electricity is on, but the key was in ignition and it was actually on the on switch so I had to take it off climbed over it and uh, and then I returned to the people and uh, you know it, it yeah they 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 look they have been all the couple they have they looked like they were actually riding for ages because you can see that the, the jacket and gear they had the lady had a, probably hit the hat pretty badly because the helmet was uh, very scratched. Um, so the ambulance was um, on the way and then the army arrived and when the army arrived I I basically kind of said well take care they spoke Croatian they were Croatian so there was no space for me anymore so I packed and left but uh, I would like to speak really about just take it easy it, it I have no idea why would they crash on that part of the road but it could be the fatigue it they could have been tired the gentleman could have been tired or something like that he he could just just really micro sleep or something like that just take it easy on the motorbike especially two up i mean ah oh, um you know it's not worth it if you want to ride fast it's there's a rally for it you know and if you ride if you want to ride fast on a on a pavement then there is definitely events where you can drive you know I mean they I don't think they would but because whatever but just don't just don't do that it's not pretty and I think that um, they were really really lucky because the, the path the bike went through the forest I, I think they're happy that they are alive to be honest so that's one thing that they are courses for defensive riding in England I uh, is an organization called IMA 
I had the course, when I got my driving license, my bike license, I had that done and it is absolutely amazing to do. In Czech Republic there is the same thing. The IMA is basically all across Europe, so people can do the defensive riding. Please do it. It is life-saving. And then another point which I need to point out is that, you know, the people which were there, they're kind of standing around, um, but, you know, do your first aid course, because you, you have to go and approach the lady who is clearly in a pain from the shoulder and she was literally begging to sit and all that, but you just don't want to move people when they have a motorcycle crash. Uh, because you don't know and then I uh, basically she was asking about the husband or I don't know and I said Let, well he's on your left side just turn the head to the left and she couldn't so that's clearly something which you don't know what it is and you don't really want to move her or anything before the ambulance comes the only exception is if she's not breathing you are uh, required to provide the CPR uh, but again you know in any other case it, it's up to the ambulance and as a riders everyone who's sitting on a motorcycle should have a fresh first aid course I mean period and, and that's just that's just how it is so I just wanted to get that out of my chest really ah.